The exit of Mauricio Pochettino from Tottenham Hotspur and the arrival of Jose Mourinho may not have had a direct impact on Ole Gunnar Solskjaer at United, but it's changed the landscape quite a bit. If there was pressure on Solskjaer to deliver on the pitch before that, that pressure has now been cranked up with United's former manager back in the Premier League and the manager who so many wanted to replace Mourinho now available. Solskjaer has got to make sure his United team deliver on the pitch. So what I want to do in this video is run through what I see as the next steps, the next most important steps for Solskjaer and United to get right. If he is to put himself in a position in the summer where he can keep his job. Now I've asked your opinions on this, they'll be included in this video as always. If you are new to United People's TV, make sure you subscribe down below. Let's talk about this one. Now, before I do begin, I want to thank OneFootball for sponsoring this video and helping United People's TV as well. If you haven't downloaded it already, there is a link in the description. All the latest comments from Solskjaer ahead of the Sheffield United game. United are going to be without McTominay. Pop is not ready to return. A genuine midfield crisis. Who saw that coming after not signing a central midfielder this summer? But you can get all the latest news on there from press conferences, pre- and post-match interviews all the latest transfer gossip, all on the OneFootball app that is free to download. Really, it will help United People's TV as well. So make sure you follow the link in the description, download the OneFootball app and keep yourself up to date in one place about everything to do with United. Now let's talk about these next steps. So many of you mentioned this when I asked for your opinions, but consistency, that's what a lot of you want to see from United. And it's not hard to see why, because we've had great performances. You know, the one all draw against Liverpool, everybody expected us to get hammered. A good performance there. We've beaten Leicester. We've beaten Chelsea twice this season. But the consistency isn't there. And that loss against Bournemouth is the shining example of it. Shining is the wrong word because it's the opposite of what we want. But we finally won away from home against Partizan after 200 days without an away win. And that built on the one all draw with Liverpool. And then we beat Norwich. And then we had that great game against Chelsea. And then we had Bournemouth, where we were just diabolical in every way, shape or form. And consistency is what differentiates a good team between a great team. And United have had good performances, but it's up to Solskjaer to get these players playing consistently now. It doesn't matter what the starting eleven is. It doesn't matter what the opposition is, what tactics they play. Our performance levels shouldn't massively go up and down between games. There should be a level that United stick to. Sometimes we're better than it. Sometimes we're a little bit below it. But we've had 9 out of 10 performances and 2 out of 10 performances. We need to get a level back into our team, back into our performances. And Solskjaer needs that. Needs that consistency back in this team, back with the players. Because without it, the top four is never going to happen. The title is never going to happen again. Consistency has eluded us for so long. And it's crucial that Solskjaer gets that back. And for many of you, the most important thing that Solskjaer has to do next is Paul Popper. What happens with Paul Popper? I've almost forgotten about Popper because he hasn't played for United since that one all draw against Arsenal back in September when it was obvious that he wasn't fit in that game. But Popper... He's a world-class player. We can all agree that. On his day, Pogba is one of the single best midfielders in the entire world. But it's up to Solskjaer now that when Pogba returns, hopefully in December, he gets him back to the levels that we saw in the first three months of Solskjaer's tenure as United manager, where he was literally one of Europe's best players. Now, Pogba's head is half out the door as far as I'm concerned. I don't think he'll be here next year. But it doesn't mean that we can't get the most out of him between now and the end of the season, because that could be the difference between us getting the top four and not getting it. Popper is that good that he can transform our season. And I'm not talking about playing Popper in a midfield two alongside McTominay. No, no, no. Play him as number 10. The number 10 role has been such a, a vacuum of quality for United this season that playing Popper there is obvious. McTominay and Fred behind him in an ideal situation if both are fit. Popper is a world-class player and it's up to a United manager to be able to get the best from these world-class players, to manage these world-class egos that come with them. 
It's part of the job. Fergie did it so well, balancing a team with so many top class players, not playing them every week, but they weren't shrugging their shoulders because they knew that they'd be in next week. Solskjaer needs to get the most out of Pogba. How he does that, I don't know. But that's down to him as a manager. But for me as a fan and for a lot of you as well, getting Pogba back in that team, getting him firing again, is absolutely one of the most crucial things that Solskjaer has to get right in the next few months. And in terms of the style, I think the killer instinct. That killer instinct that we have seen in the last couple of games against Partizan Belgrade and Brighton. Now the caveat here is we saw it against Partizan Belgrade and Brighton, who are not teams that we can measure ourselves against. But such was the lack of a killer instinct that you have to celebrate the successes when they're there. Scored two goals in the first half against Partizan. I think the first time in months at Old Trafford that we did that. And we did it the next game as well against Brighton. And then when Brighton equalised, we went straight down the other end and made it 3-1 and killed the game. United's defence, as much as Maguire and Wan-Bissaka have improved it, is not good enough to comfortably hold out a 1-0 lead. I'm not confident in United's defence to hold out a 1-0 lead. We managed to do it against Leicester by the skin of our teeth, but it's almost semi-luck if we do it. United need two goals to be comfortable in a game. And too often this season, we've been undone by that. Now, United need that. United need that killer instinct to find a way to break down those teams that have the low block. Don't just get undone by championship level defending. That's an easy way to defend. Sit deep, sit disciplined, hoof it. But United get undone by it so much that that killer instinct can't come out because we're just frustrated. Mourinho is definitely going to do that low block when he comes to Old Trafford as Spurs manager. Looking forward to that game. But getting that killer instinct, finding that ability to continue throughout the whole game. Because look, look at the Premier League table here, if games ended at 45 minutes. United are literally top. We are very good over the course of the season of coming out in that first half and going in winning at half time. We are equally as crap at seeing out the game, that second 45 minutes. Is it a dip in fitness? Is it to do with the quality of the players? Is it a combination of both and more? Don't know. But Solskjaer, as the manager, needs to get these players playing for the full 90 minutes, for the last 15 minutes, to get United pressing if we need a goal. Or to have us comfortably in a good position at that point where we don't have to press, where we can sit deep and hit on the counter-attack, which is a style of football that Solskjaer has got right so far. But to make that happen, we need the killer instinct back. We've seen it against Partizan and Brighton. Cool. Now we need to see it against Sheffield in the upcoming games against Spurs, against City. The real big tests. That's what Solskjaer's got coming up in December. Let's see what happens. And the January transfer window is coming up. And I'm not sure there's been a more important January transfer window in a long, long time. Let me know what you think about that. But because of our failures in the summer to sign a central midfielder, and the clear weaknesses we've got up front with the injuries to Anthony Martial after the departure of Lukaku and Sanchez, we need a central midfielder. We could really, really do with a striker as well. Will Solskjaer be able to get those reinforcements in January? Because it could be the difference between us just chasing the Europa League as our only chance of getting into the Champions League next year, or us having an actual opportunity to finish in the top four. That's how important this January transfer window is. It's normally a window where you can... Boost your squad. Just give yourself a little, a little up. But United need it this time. Absolutely, because of our failures in the summer to sign what we needed. Overall, it was a good summer in terms of the signings we made, but a bad summer in the signings we didn't make. And just as important in January, Nemanja Matic flirting with Mourinho. He wants out. We all want him out. Will Solskjaer be able to sell him? Phil Jones. Other players. Is January an opportunity to offload some more Deadwood and create more opportunities for the likes of Brandon Williams to come through, who should be our starting left back now? Absolutely. Let me know what you think about the January transfer. I'll do a, a full proper video on the January transfer window coming up in December, but Solskjaer's got to get it right. The board, the Glazers, Woodward, can't let him down. Will we be able to get who we want? I'm not sure. But if we don't, it could be the difference between us chasing the Europa League on its own, or having an opportunity to get in that top four. These, for me, are some of the most crucial steps for Solskjaer in the next coming months 
to really stamping his identity on this team, which I said is his most important thing he's got to do now. Between now and the end of the season, with Mourinho coming in at Spurs and Pochettino now being available, Solskjaer has to get this United team playing with a proper identity between now and May if he's got any chance of keeping his job in the summer. It's all about the football now. We've had good work behind the scenes. We've had a decent summer in some respects and a bad summer in other respects. It's all pushed to the side. Now it's all about performances and results. Getting the best out of Pogba. Getting that consistency back. Getting that identity. The January transfer window. There's some big important steps coming up for United. And I want to know from you in the comments what you think is the most important. As always, if you are new to United People's TV and you're still here, I like that. Make sure you subscribe now and get involved in the channel. But Sheffield United next and a busy December. The pressure's on Solskjaer. Can he deliver?